really get into turn three. That's where I see him making the big moves. He really drives it into three. You've heard the drivers talk about a little loose in three and four, a little tight in one and two. I believe that's where he is. If Jarrett's got anything left, he can't wait because Harvick's going to be all over him. He's got to go after Nadeau now. And I can't help but believe we talked about it earlier. Look at the run Harvick gets there in the 29 car up off the corner. What happens when these cars get this close behind each other? You can catch them because of them taking the front down force off. You can't go by them. Phil Jarrett got up high off the turn two that time. Got a lot of run down the back straightaway. He's trying to high line now, but he better not open that bottom up because here comes Harvick. Boy, look at Harvick in the middle of the corner. Get under Dale Jarrett for second place. That's the last thing Dale Jarrett wanted to see was somebody up there racing him when he's trying to figure out how to set that Nadeau car up. And that's the best thing Jerry Nadeau wanted to see is them too wide in his mirror. Harvick can't complete the pass. Jarrett gets a great run off the two. That high line, he's back in the throttle. He's pulling a lot of straightaway speed. Here comes Dale Jr. up on the outside of Harvick. Dale Jarrett's going to the bottom. He says, all right, I've played around here long enough. It's time to go. Harvick's going to follow him in the 29 car. Now watch. Jarrett for the lead. Watch and it. they touch at the start-finish line. And around the outside. Here comes Harvick. Three wide. Three wide. Here comes Dale Jr. They're all over each other now. Jr.'s run was blocked by Jarrett and Harvick. Not getting in to turn three as well Look that at Gordon. Time. Look at Gordon getting that run. Runs up on the back of Dale Earnhardt Jr. All the way up to the top of the racetrack. I don't think Dale Jr. Get, well, he's going three to get Three wide one. Here we Harvick go. the leader. Harvick oh, eased it into three to get a good run off board. It got him the lead. Five miles to go. This is ingredients for a five-car wreck. <laughs> this is incredible. Look at them. They're all over the place. High, low, and in the middle. And Harvick Look clears Nadeau for the lead. Dale Jarrett, he gets loose up there off turn two. Falls Jeff back Gordon's and forth. Up in, uh, Jeff Gordon's up in the third place. They go down in the third turn. Gordon's going to go high on the outside. He's back in the gas. He's going to drive alongside Nadeau. Junior on the bottom. Can't do anything with Jarrett. Loosens up Jarrett. Boy, Harvick. Jarrett and, Jarrett and the Dale Jr. almost. Now, remember, as Harvick's wife looks on, Delena. Brand new wife, by the way. That's right, one week old. Now, remember, Gordon owes Nadu a favor. He's going to try to help push Jerry Nadu to the lead. And Dale Jr. is out of it. Earnhardt has he cut down a right front tire. Burnt the right front tire off of that thing. Here comes Gordon to the underneath. He's going to come underneath Nadu. This is exactly what Harvick wants, though. These guys running side by side. Look at the distance he's done put on. Three laps to go. And right now, this is when, hey, buddy, let me go. I can win this race. I thought last year's photo finish was a thriller. This may be better. Well, here comes heartbreak down pit road. I know we're watching race. Dale Jr. down the pit road, flat right front tire. Gordon goes into second place. Harvick's got his work cut out for him now. I don't know if you're sitting down at home, but there's 120,000 people on their feet here at Atlanta. And here comes Jeff Gordon closing down on Harvick. Kevin Harvick trying to become only the fifth driver in NASCAR history to win in his only his third Winston Cup start. And I know Richard Childress has got to be jumping up and down with joy right now, no matter what happens. And somewhere, too, must be Dale Earnhardt, because this is his car that Kevin Harvick is driving. The paint is different, the number is different. But not since Dan Gurney in 1963 at Riverside, Hi. California, as a driver won in his third start. Jeff Gordon's going to give it all he's got this turn. This time he's going to try to go down bottom. He's going to try to get down under him. Gets a good run there in the middle of three and four. They'll be coming for the white flag right here. One lap to go. The Childress team trying to go to victory lane for the second year in a row in this race. We had a photo finish here last race. We're getting ready for another one, folks. Get up off your seats. Here Gordon they go. For two in a row, trying to set him up. Gordon's going to make the big move on the inside when they get down here to turn three. Os Slow car might be in the way. Here he comes. He's going to drive it to the bottom. Oh, Harvick's leaving a lot of bottom open. Oh, this slow car. Slow car. Slow car is going to be in the way. Just, Just like a year ago. He's going to get him, though. Here he's going to get him. Gordon got loose. It's Harvick. Harvick by oh. inches. Harvick by oh, inches. Harvick by inches. What a race. How, what a finish. How did Jeff Gordon hang on to that car? That loose off turn four. Man. Tell me if we got him. Tell me if we got him. 29 car. You got him, buddy. Harvick, you got him. By oh. six one thousandths of a second. Oh, right. Nice job. Look at this. Man. For the win. That is ever 
So six one thousandths of a second. A replay of a year ago with Dale Earnhardt and Bobby Labonte. That's an incredible finish. What a job for that young man. Somewhere up there. I think Dale's smiling. And Dale is jumping up and down right now. Good job, oh, guys. Sir. Where is he? Ah. Folks, this is Dale Earnhardt's car and team. And Kevin Harvick, the young man Richard Childress tapped, is doing a John Force down the front straightaway. <laughs> hey, listen to the crowd. I mean, that, that's incredible.